奴はウエスタリス一のスパイと歌われる男だだからそう心配するな時期に桜咲くって一報が届くさ何ですそれ東洋の暗号さ合格ってこと This is something that is already explained, but I just wanted to point out that the term Sakura Saku is a real expression used in Japan to talk about passing an exam. This scene made me really confused when I saw the difference between the Japanese and the English subtitle because they decided to change the name Ikenielu to Zakri Face, and I was really wondering why they would change the name of a person. It doesn't really make sense to change the name of a side character like that. And I looked it up, and it's because there's a play on words with the name of the character. Because in Japanese, ikenie means a sacrifice, a living sacrifice. So it's not the actual name of the person, it's just your imagination. But they try to keep it also in English. So they chose the name Zakri Face. Sacrifice. Zachary face. So, yeah, that's why the name isn't the same. It's because they try to mimic the hidden meaning behind the name. But I think it's a little bit too far fetched. Maybe I'm the only one that didn't catch it the first time. So, let me know in the comments if you catched it the first time that you watched the episode. But it's still a pretty creative way to do it. And I saw that in the Netflix subtitle. They directly change it to Secretary Scapegoat. So it's way more straight to the point. Here in Japanese, it's a little bit more graphic. Frankie is using the term Yatsuzaki. It's an expression to mean to tear apart, but also it literally means to tear into eight. So, yeah, pretty intense expression. <laughs> So, this is just a little detail, but they use the term keta, and it refers to a digit. So, he's asking if there's too much digit in the number, or the order of magnitude is the correct one. <laughs> 